Hi there, beautiful people. So I drew this king of pentacles, which made me journal a little bit about the responsibility of the king, you know, this really mature masculine part of ourselves. And, and there's a, you know, there's a strong stereotypical role model of the provider protector energy in this king, definitely in the material sense of the world. And that, that energy, so, I, you know, I was just musing about what that energy is inside of me and what my role is as well. And being a, a father, it come, it, you know, made me really question that fatherly role with, with, with children and and also being that father to myself as well the, the corresponding work and it's a corresponding energy and and you know I saw I saw several times and several stories and, and circumstances that I fail in sometimes and you know it's this it's a protective energy that that needs to be protective shielding in a certain way but not smothering it's it's something that needs to protect also um, other people and ourselves from our from our own bad decisions a lot of the time as well and that as a father is kind of a that's that that power of discernment that a little bit of maturity has that a teenage kid might not have and um, and and so there's there's that type there's that type of boundary putting protection energy where we say yes to some things and say no to some things but Anybody who's been a parent knows that, you know, just laying the law down and putting excessively strong boundaries and saying this is wrong, this is right, you know, it just doesn't sit well for very, for teenagers very well. So we have to kind of lead by example and we just have to maybe tell a story. And, and the protection story um, is only so far. We don't have, we, we, we can definitely put yeses and noes in the story, but the greatest lessons that we're all likely to learn are going to be by the mistakes that we make ourselves. And as long as we, we have, you know, shown a good example and stated what we have discerned is right as far as good actions and wrong actions, then this is the best thing that we do. Then we have to step back a little bit and actually allow the experience of failure, falling flat on your face, making a mistake, being stupid um, for those around us to, to actually happen. And the same inside of us, you know, and then we have to stand up and protect ourselves from self-judgment. We have to put a barrier or a boundary against our own inner critical critic jumping in and say, oh, I'm such an idiot for making a joke. And then, you know, trying to keep that, keep ourselves maybe as parents to stop criticizing or judging the world on the outside as well because if we if we do a lot of that then we'll have this inner critic which will, which will be an inner attacking system and some people can say that the inner critic is good um, because it serves us to uh, to fuel that desire to better ourselves which on some way on some level is good but if we're bettering ourselves through an energy of rejection it's very different than if we're trying to better ourselves through an energy of wanting to feel inspired to be something bigger better more beautiful or you know a more conscious version of ourselves and so um it, it's a fighting it's a fighting for something instead of against something which energy which is vitally important and i'm making that distinction and showing that as an example is the greatest form of protection even though we might have to step back and not hold boundaries upon those around us that need to make a mistake and allow ourselves also in a similar way to make mistakes so that we can learn from our own mistakes without fearing the criticism that might come from it and then there's that provider energy in this king as well who's abundant in his in his uh, gifts and 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 that provider can be like oh i'm giving i'm giving we can give too much you know we can give too much to the world and the world will um, consequently react in entitled ways when when we give um, when we give excessively when we give without balance and it's all about finding that middle path will create an energy which is um, expecting and wanting and dependent upon us and that that breeds uh, entitlement in in other people around us and entitlement in in the world which is not a not a very healthy 
um, dynamic to be creating in our lives, either for ourselves or for those around us. And it's the same inside of ourselves too. We, we can give ourselves um, and, and nurture ourselves and look after ourselves. But if we excessively nurture ourselves, <laughs> then this would look like, you know, strong pampering while we might, while we might benefit from a little bit more, <clears throat> you know, getting up there and uh, being a little bit more disciplined and rigid. And so, so the providing story is also something that we need to step back from as well. And sometimes the, the best form of providing for our environment is, is, is providing experience instead of providing outcomes, you know, or instead of providing, um, you know, the, the, the the material benefits that somebody might be looking for just provide the opportunity for, for for those benefits to be found and to be experienced and to be earned and to be gained and to be worked for by other people around us and that's sometimes the more important version of providing the story and sometimes pro the best pr provision that we can bring to those people around us is stepping back and, and providing the opportunity for somebody else to step up that's a tricky one for this king sometimes and and he can he can sometimes want to give and give in a way where he's actually taking away um, taking away opportunities for other people around him those people who he feels like he's is in care of to step up and have the opportunity of giving to themselves which is a much more self-empowering experience and much more beautiful um, and important in life, especially to young kids, right? Um, and that's the taking of responsibility. And sometimes our responsibility as kings in our own kingdom um, needs to look like, okay, let's, let's provide ourselves also with an opportunity to go and experience something new instead of providing ourselves a safe environment. Safe environments needs to need to be, you need to understand what safety is as well. This is another tricky story where we can fall into extremes of what that might look like. Safe might seem like it's contained and held and protected and, and there's never any danger, but, but that's in the long run, that's not the best form of safety because we're, we're, uh, we're creating like a, a false bubble. And, and bubbles get burst by life quite easily. And sometimes the best form of safety is, is, is creating an environment which is a little bit touchy as well, which is not just completely cushioned, but has got a couple of spikes in it, which is going, which are going to test you and gonna give you trials in your life so that you can actually, oh, feel like, feel your own inner will to break free from certain norms and experience other types of experience, uh, other types of, yeah, other types of challenges in this world and challenges uh, and choosing challenges sometimes is setting ourselves up to fail sometimes, but that in the, in the long run is going to be the safest option because we become able to deal with challenges. We've become a a able to deal with diversity and we become, um, f we, we become beings which, who feel safe within our own ability to fail. That's where real beauty of safety comes along. If we're so afraid to fail or we're so afraid to fall on our faces and make mistakes, then the world is not going to be a safe place for us to live in because we'll be running around holding on to that fear. If we challenge ourselves from time to time, bump into that, into that fear and we come out the other side and we made a mistake, we failed, but we're still okay, then we feel safe inside of ourselves. And that safety inside of ourselves has nothing to do with just this cushioned environment, but breaking sometimes as many bubbles as we can. Have a fantastic day. Much love to you all.